Oh, there's a goal! How's it going, everybody? It's C-Rad from C-Rad TV, and welcome to the pilot episode of Detroit Tigers Monthly. Yes, we have Red Wings Monthly and Pistons Monthly. So, yep, it's only fitting that we get Tigers Monthly. Because since there's so many damn games of the year, I'm not going to do it game by game because I don't want to fucking spam the shit out of videos and overwhelm everybody. So, I'm just going to do it one video a month. But the Detroit Lions videos, they'll be week by week. Since there's a lot less games for that. So yeah, welcome to the pilot episode of Detroit Tigers Monthly as the MLB season is open. As the boys of summer are officially back. Yes, the boys are back in town. So in terms of how the Tigers did in March, the Tigers, um, they played only one series all of March. But it was all for four games. This series was in Toronto against the Blue Jays. In this series, the Piston, the Tigers won two games and lost two games. So all in all, the series ended in a tie. Um, in this series, the Tigers had a total of six runs, averaging 1.5 runs a game. And they gave up 12 runs, averaging three runs a game. Obviously, we cannot use this to scope the rest of the season since it's still early in the year. Like, there's 162 games in this year. The Tigers still got 100, another 158 to go. Like, there is still a long way to go. Momentum can change on a dime in the league. Like, you can get hot and get cold at the right time or wrong time. But there's plenty of time to recover. But yeah, in terms of everything, um, yeah, we can't use the last 10 because the Tigers haven't even played 10 games yet. But in terms of, like, playoff racing, well, we're not going to really talk about playoffs much right now. The Tigers, they're half a game behind the division lead in the AL Central, and they're half a game back of, a, of this second and final NL wild card. You know, we're not going to focus about playoffs this much right now because, like I already mentioned, start of the year. But the Tigers, they do enter April on a one-game winning streak. But yeah, can't really use this month as a scope of what the rest of the season is going to be, but, you know, just got to wait and see. You know, the Tigers, they enter this year with no expectations since, of course, they are still in a full rebuild. The second year of a full-on rebuild. You know, trying to get better, of course, you know, trust the process. Five years of hell. But, you know, the Tigers do got a bright future coming. So, yeah, they're going to be an exciting young team to watch this year. But in terms, let's look at how all the players in Detroit did this month of terms of the players that scored points. So we have Nico Goodrum. He had the total of two runs, but zero RBIs and zero home runs, and had a batting average of .308. Um, Kristen Stewart. He had one run, two RBIs, and he had the only home run for the Tigers in the entire series. Spoiler alert. And Kristen Stewart's batting average was an average of .077. But that one bat, but that one he did hit. It was one that counted. Um, Jamer Calderiano Aro, he had only two RBIs in the entire series and a batting average of .333. Um, Nicholas Castelliano, he had zero runs but one RBI and zero home runs and a batting average of .294. John Hicks, he had one run total but zero RBIs and zero home runs and a batting average of zero. So yeah, that one run he did get, he was walked. So yeah, there you go. And then we have um Grayson Griner. He had a total of two runs, but zero RBIs and zero home runs. And he had a batting average of .167. And if you wonder about Miguel Cabrera, he did almost nothing. Hopefully Cabrera can do something this year. At least do something, man. Like, we need you, brother. But, yeah. But, yeah, you know. A tough series against the Jays. But, you know, start of year, anything can happen. Anyone can get hot and cold at the right time. At certain points in the year. Because, like I've already mentioned. Just like I mentioned before, momentum can change on a dime. But, yeah. Those are all the player stats for this month. But, in terms of pitching... 
So we'll take a look at the pitching here. Jordan Zimmerman, he played one game, made one appearance in the series. He only gave up one hit, but had four strikeouts. He gave up no runs, so he has an ERA of zero. Oh, uh, Joe, but Joe Jimenez, he had two appearances. He gave up three hits, but had two strikeouts. He gave up three runs, with three of them being earned runs. So he had an earned run against average of 1.5. Um, Victor Alcantara, he had two game. He played two games. Was credited with the victory in one of them, so his record is 1-0. He, he gave up one hit, but had two strikeouts and had an ERA of zero. Yeah, he gave up no runs. Um, Shane Green, he had two saves, so he's 2-0 and in saves. Um, he gave up one hit, but had one strikeout, gave up zero runs, so he has an ERA of zero. Um, Matt Boyd, he had played in one game, was credited with the loss in one of them. Gave up five hits, but had ten strikeouts. Um, gave up four runs with three of those runs being earned, so I guess an ERA of three. Um, Buck Farmer, he had played two games. Um, had zero, gave up zero hits, but had two strikeouts, gave up no runs, so it was ERA is zero. Blaine Hardy, he played one game, gave up one hit, but had one strikeout, gave up two runs, with two of them being earned. I think it was a two, it was a home run. So he had ERA is two, earned runs against average is two, where he's giving up two runs a game. Reed Garrett, he played one game. Gave up zero hits, but had one strikeout and gave up no runs, so he has an ERA of zero. Spencer Turnbull played one game, was credited with the loss in one of those games. Um, gave up four hits, but had five strikeouts. Gave up three runs, with three of them being earned runs, so an earned run against average of three. Daniel Norris, he played only one game, was credited with the loss in one of those games. Is that right? Wait, is that right? Yeah, no. Yeah, that's right. I was just checking my notes there. I was wondering if that was right or not. So that's why it was quiet there. But yeah, Norris, um, he gave up two hits. But he had zero strikeouts and gave up no runs. So an ERA of zero. Matt Moore made one appearance in the series, gave up two hits, but had six strikeouts, gave up zero runs, so an ERA is zero. And finally, Daniel Stumpf made one appearance in the series, got credited with a win, only gave up two hits, but had one strikeout, had, gave up no runs, so he has an ERA of zero. So yeah, pitching, a lot of the pitching looked good, you know, of course, start of the year, you know, anything can happen, anything can change quickly. So, you know, early in the year. So we're not going to focus too much on it. But, yeah. So, yeah, that does it here for the opening episode of Detroit Tigers Monthly. Not much to talk about since it's the opening month of the year. But, yes, you know what? With it now being the start of the year, I think it's time that we go ahead. And you know what? I think I show you my predictions for who will make the playoffs in October. Since, you know what? Let's just talk about who will, who I think will make it in October. I'll probably get most of these picks wrong, but who? But oh well. Let's just go ahead and give it a shot. So in terms of the American League, I think four to four to five playoff spots are pretty much set in stone. But the second wild card could literally be anybody. So in the American League, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the East will be won by Boston. I'm gonna say Cleveland wins the Central. I'm gonna go Houston to win the West. And my wild cards being the Yankees and the Angels. Like for the second wild card, the uh, you know I would say in terms of second wild card, the teams I would have in contention with it, along with the Angels, I would throw Oakland in there. I would throw Minnesota in there. I would even throw the White Sox and the Tampa Bay in there. Like that second wild card could literally be anybody. It's gonna be a tough one to call, but I'm gonna say Angels will be the last team standing. In terms of the at National League. That is going to be tougher to, to call because there are a lot of good teams in that division, in that league. So it's going to be tough to say. But in terms of predictions, I'm going to say the East will go to Philadelphia. The Central is going to be hard to call. I, will, I think anybody worth a damn could come out of that division. 
But I'm going to go and I'm going to say the Cardinals. St. Louis will win the Central. The West, I'm going to say it will go to the Dodgers again. And I have my wild cards being Milwaukee and Atlanta. I mean, it's tough to call. But, you know, hey, now watch me get half of these wrong by midseason. But, yeah, that's all I got to say for Detroit Tigers Monthly. Hope everyone's a great day. Peace out and play ball. Oh, there's a goal!